You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hardcovers soft. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have another review to share with you guys. So, before I get to the book review, um, there's something that's going to be happening this week to this channel. Um, there will be a bonus video this week. Um, so in addition to today's and Wednesday's video, there will be a special video on Thursday. So um, stay tuned and check out what that's about on Thursday. So it's going to be awesome, you guys. I'm really excited. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, it's going to be awesome. So stay tuned for that. Now on to the book review. So this book is a juvenile fiction book called P.S. Longer Letter Later by Paula Danzinger and Anna Martin. And <clears throat> I'll be super honest with you guys for a minute, guys. I had no idea that authors were friends with each other, though I knew they would probably collaborate on um, writing books themselves if they needed another author's opinion, if they needed things like that, or maybe read each other's books before it comes goes to publication, perhaps. Um, but it doesn't seem to be too far-fetched um, that they could be friends with each other, which it sounds like they are from what I read in the description for the authors on this book. So, um, for those that don't know, um, P.S. is used in casual letters, as in this book, because it is a novel in letters. Um, and it's used in formal letters, too. Um, P.S. simply means postscript, which is after the letter is written, um, it is usually used for something the letter writer forgot to include in the letter. It can be a question for the the person that's a, that the that the letter is addressed to, or a statement, or something that they wanted to include in the letter but they couldn't because the letter had already been written. So, um, this has two writers, and they portray two 12 to 13 year old girls, and this is what this is about. Elizabeth and Tara Starr are totally different. Tara Starr wears glitter and sequins, loves to be the center of attention, and is the only child of young parents who are taking a long time to grow up. Elizabeth is shy and quiet, hates being the center of attention, and lives in a house in which possessions are more important than feelings. So of course they're best friends. Now that Tara Star has moved away, the girls continue their friendship through letters. Then life changes for both of them. While Tara Star's family settled down, settles down, Elizabeth felt, falls apart. Their letters chronicle these events and the realization they can depend on each other and themselves. Paula Danzinger and Anna Martin combine, combine their peerless talents to tell this rich and complex story. So, um, that is what this is about. This doesn't have cha chapters like an original book would, because they're letters to each other, and these are the different authors that are writing the letters. Um... I highly recommend this book to anyone, although the age range is from 8 to 12 years old that this is geared toward. However, like I said in previous videos, anyone can and should read this book. So um, that's all I have for you today. One last question. Have you read this book and did you like it or hate it? Okay, that's two questions. Okay, um, put your responses in the video, the comments below. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading. 
don't stop believing, and we will see you again tomorrow for another book review. Bye, guys!